Why is the Philippines unique compared to the rest of the world? There are many things that make the Philippines unique, from its stunning natural sceneries to its rich history and vibrant culture. There are plenty of reasons to visit uh, the Philippines. There are many things that makes the Philippines unique. Only Christian nation in Asia. As the only Christian nation in Asia and the fifth largest Christian country on earth, it's safe to say that Filipinos take their religion seriously, with roughly 86% of the population following Catholicism and an extra 8% practicing other branches of Christianity. The Filipino flag indicates at war or at peace. The Filipino flag is the only one in the world which can determine whether the country is at peace or at war, depending on how it's flown. When the country is at peace, the flag is flown with blue on top. When at war, it's reversed with red on top. The Philippines is the second largest archipelago in the world. There are plenty of countries that exist as archipelagos, but the Philippines is undoubtedly exceptional by comparison. The Philippines is considered the second largest archipelago in the world. It is the fifth largest island country. 13 is an unlucky number. Fear of the number 13 has permeated cultures everywhere, but it's believed to have stemmed from Christianity. During the Last Supper, Jesus shared his bread with his 12 apostles. The 13th person in the room was Judas, the individual who would later betray Jesus Christ. The superstition about the number 13 was believed to have started with this. The Philippines is a strongly Christian nation. It's no wonder that these beliefs are so prominent here. In fact, it will be hard to find the 13th floor in the Philippines because people would be too superstitious to use it. 20 earthquakes every day in the Philippines. The Philippines is situated on the western edge of the Ring of Fire. The country sits along not just one but five different fault lines, meaning that earthquakes are common. But experts estimate that there are only 20 plus earthquakes every day across the country. However, many of them are too weak to be felt. This would indicate that they are below a magnitude of two. The national bird of the Philippines is the monkey-eating eagle, or the Philippine eagle. It stands up to one meter tall and has a wingspan of over two meters and weighs four to eight kilograms. Although it's called a monkey-eating eagle, in addition to monkeys, it also eats snakes, lizards, and hornbills. It was made a national symbol in 1995. The world's largest shoes were made in the Philippines. Added to the Guinness Book of World Records in 2002, the city of Marikina made the world's largest shoes, measuring 8 feet wide and 17 feet long. The shoes took about 17 days to complete and cost 77 million pesos. They are still on display for visitors. Manila International Airport features a no wang wang zone. To stamp out problems with cutting through heavy airport traffic, certain areas in the airport are known as no wang wang zones. This phrase is derived from the sounds that police sirens make when they are in hot pursuit or responding to an emergency. Karaoke is used to promote supermarket specials. This form of entertainment is so popular in the Philippines that it's also used to promote the sale of grocery items in supermarket locations. It's one thing about Filipino culture that is unique to the Philippines. 
Manila has been the capital for over 400 years. The country's main port of entry and industrial center, Manila has been the principal city for the Philippines for over 400 years. The Spanish Governor General destroyed the city in 1571 and built the infamous Intramuros Fortress, which through the centuries developed into present-day Manila. But you can still see the remains of Intramuros Fortress if you visit Manila. This place is where the national Filipino hero spent his last night here. Bamboo grows in the city parks. Plants such as palms dot the city landscape, and bamboo grows in many of Manila's city parks. The University of Santo Tomas in Manila is older than Harvard. The University of Santo Tomas in Manila, founded by a Dominican monks on April 1611, is older than Harvard, which was founded in 1636. Makati City is the selfie capital of the world. Makati beats Manhattan, which ended up in the second place. The study also showed that Cebu and Iloilo cities ranked quite high. Tech savvy and social media friendly Filipinos have proven that they are the top selfie takers in the world. The best time to stay cool and dry is from November through February. The Philippines experiences a dry and hot season from the month of March to May, and a damp typhoon season that spans from June to October. But from November to February, the weather is normally cool and fair. So if you have plans to visit, try to head to the Philippines during these months. These are the best months to visit the Philippines. The Philippines is home to the world's most expansive malls. Shopping in the Philippines is an experience in itself. Inside a shopping mall, you can not only find stores, especially international stores, that sell high quality uh, international brands or branded items, but also prayer rooms, banks, bill payment centers, repair shops, medical and dental clinics, pet shops, conference centers, trade and conventional halls, fitness clubs, and many, many others. The Philippines is the largest supplier of trained nurses. Did you know that the Philippines is the world's greatest provider of nurses? It's been discovered that 25% of all nurses working in other nations, especially Canada, America, the Middle East, Australia, and many other countries are actually Filipinos. Filipino nurses have always been highly demanded globally because they're considerate, patient, respectful, and empathetic. Filipinos are among the politest people in the world. Filipinos are friendly, outgoing, with a great sense of humor. This, along with a positive culture, makes it one of the happiest countries in the world. Every tourist in the Philippines is addressed as ma'am, sir. The youngsters address them as kuyas and ates respectively, meaning um, elder brother and sister. Politeness can be seen in everything they say and do. For example, I observe that Filipinos use the word po. After every sentence, every word, every phrase, they use it a lot. Why? To show respect to all people, regardless of their age or economic background. 400 million text messages are exchanged daily. The people of the Philippines are extremely sociable and strive to maintain contact with all of these significant individuals in their lives. Because of this tendency, the country's yearly text message count has risen to a stunning 142 billion. Yes, that's true. The daily sum of messages exchanged by people is over 400 million. Karaoke is a social pastime that is an important part of the local people's daily lives. Karaoke machines may be found even in the most 
isolated and rural areas of the country. Though the first karaoke machine was created by a Japanese musician, it was not copyrighted until 1975 by a Filipino inventor. This karaoke sing-along ritual has now become an integral element of the Filipino way of life. The Philippines has more than 170 spoken dialects, although the official language of the Philippines is Filipino based on Tagalog, there are over 170 dialects spoken throughout the Philippines. Every region, every province has its own dialect. The largest volcanic eruption in the last 50 years occurred in the Philippines. The Philippines has been the site of the greatest volcanic explosion in the last 50 years. The eruption of Mount Pinatubo on June 15, 1991 was the most terrifying experience in Philippines history. Over 20,000 people had to be evacuated as a result of the volcanic eruption, and the clouds of gases emitted by the volcano caused a worldwide cooling of 0.5 degrees Celsius. The Philippines is made up of more than 7,000 islands. On every island, there is a paradise to be found, unique food to eat, singular culture to experience, and new people to meet. The sheer amount of beaches to enjoy is almost uncountable. You can find beaches in almost all provinces, Mindanao, Visayas, and um, Luzon. And they all have their own unique story to tell. All have unique culture. The Philippines is home to the world's longest underground river. Deep underneath the St. Paul's mountain range in the island of Palawan is the Puerto Princesa Subterranean River National Park. It was created millions of years ago, stretching 24 uh, kilometers beneath the mountains. It's become a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and it's recognized as one of the seven wonders of nature. Christmas in the Philippines begins in September. Filipinos celebrate Christmas not just as a single day, but as a holiday season that begins as early as September. Christmas is the longest holiday in the Philippines, and many begin purchasing and decorating in September. If you love the Christmas season and want to visit the Philippines, Christmas would be the ideal time to Go. Waterfall Restaurant Villa Escudero, and please forgive my lack of Filipino pronunciation, I'm currently learning two languages, uh, Filipino languages, so I'm still trying to refine my pronunciation skills. Villa Escudero is the home to a famous restaurant, a waterfall restaurant, if you will. The restaurant is located directly at the foot of a small man-made waterfall. The food is served on bamboo tables that stand right in the water. Nowhere else in the world can you have such a unique experience, a sunken cemetery. The island of Kamigan has many things to offer, but one thing in particular that stands out is the sunken cemetery. The inhabitants of an old cemetery on the island found themselves underwater after a volcano eruption in the 1800s. The inhabitants submerged their burial grounds in seawater. A large cross now marks and watches over the graves. The Kawa hot bath in which relaxation seekers take a distressing dip in a giant uh, pot of flour and herb infuse water heated manually over open flame it might sound unsafe and scary but each bath is well supervised so that while it looks as though you're going to get boiled alive you'll come out feeling better than ever instead getting massaged by an alarmingly massive snake is a scary thought and it might sound as a fantasy but 
at the Davao Crocodile Park, you might indulge in complete relaxation during your visit with a quick massage. Your masseuse being a dangerous looking, albeit well-trained, Burmese python, Chocolate Hills. Located in the Bohol Island, the Chocolate Hills consist of a group of unusually shaped hills. Some say that they look like a woman's breasts, but they really resemble chocolate truffles. It's hard to believe that it's not man-made, but it's not. It's actually natural. Jeepneys are the leading transportation vehicle in the Philippines. Jeepneys are remnants of the jeeps left by Americans during its colonization. Nowadays, jeepneys are notorious for fitting lots of people inside, despite its small structure. The payments, usually in coins, are being passed from one passenger to another until it reaches the driver. If you'd like to try riding atop the jeepney or on top of the jeepney, you may experience it in the mountain province. When you visit the Philippines, you cannot say no to eating its famous balut. Balut is basically a hard-boiled duck egg with a developing embryo inside. People say you need to eat the fetus for you to experience eating balut. <laughs>